Dignitaries joined U.S. Department of Energy, Consolidated Nuclear Security, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers officials at the Y-12 New Hope Center March 13, 2015, to celebrate the completion of site readiness work, the first major milestone for the Uranium Processing Facility Project at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. So we're here this morning to celebrate uh, the first successful step in building what constitutes a very important asset for our government, the Uranium Processing Facility. We've taken this job and we've broken into a number of smaller pieces to make it very manageable. We're using a number of resources to execute this work, small business, the Army Corps of Engineers. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Nashville District, constructed the Bear Creek Road extension, which included building a new bridge in a mile of roadway, mitigation of wetlands, and relocation of several potable water lines. The commander spoke during the project celebration and emphasized that teamwork between federal agencies and the contractor resulted in exceptional commitment to quality. Anytime you do a project, it's really about that relationship between the folks involved, whether it's the contractor, the government agency, the customer, it's those relationships and how, how the folks interact day in and day out that makes a project successful. And throughout this project, We've seen that, and we've and it resulted in a great project. Congressman Chuck Fleischman, representing Tennessee's 3rd District, applauded everyone involved with the preparation work of the uranium processing facility and completing the site preparation on time and under budget. They're doing a great job here at Y-12 in older facilities, in facilities that workers toil every day. And we'll continue to have to work hard until we complete the UPF. But the uranium processing facility is an example of how we can come together as Americans and get things done. We see it. the Department of Energy, the NNSA, the Army Corps of Engineers, Avis, the private sector, stepping up and doing a job under time, under budget, a great way to do it, and I thank you for that. The U.S. Department of Energy, Undersecretary for Nuclear Security and National Nuclear Security Administration Administrator, also spoke about the importance of the site readiness work and its impact on national security. Uh, the completion of this project is a significant <coughs> achievement uh, for our national security enterprise, one that keeps us moving forward on a facility uh, that will support our nation's uranium mission while helping us reduce our nuclear footprint. At the completion of the event, officials cut a ribbon in celebration of the project's completion. The federal construction manager for the project said this first milestone in the modernization process is vital because the Corps of Engineers built the existing facilities at Y-12 in the 1940s, which are still in use today. So we definitely need an upgrade. We definitely need to bring everything up to building code and standards and also to incorporate new technologies. The resident engineer for the Nashville District said his staff did a great job and the interagency partnership with the U.S. Department of Energy was a big part of the project's success. The team that we put together out here, uh, they were able to meet all the demands that were put on them. I'm very proud of the group. Now that we know each other and now we know how each other operate, I think this is a, a really good stepping stone for future projects. I think we made the schedule, we made the budget, and we did it without, uh, without any recordable injuries or accidents, which uh, two years in a, in a construction field is, uh, is always an accomplishment. Uh, so that's, we, we, we hit all the points for, for construction. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District from the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee.